Hi everyone, this is Blake Anderson and in this video I'm going to show you this new recorder that I just purchased and uh, it's the Zoom F3 recorder. I'm going to show you kind of how I've been working with this new recorder and how you can get 32-bit uh, sound uh, as a recorder. So I'm going to go through, you know, some of what I'm learning in terms of using this product. Uh, it's definitely very simple and it, you know, does the job uh, and it's very minimalist in a lot of ways. I'm liking it so far. I'm definitely, you know, on my own journey of uh, learning more about sound and really trying to pay attention to getting better sound in my videos. Uh, in this video, I'm not going to go through too much of the technology of necessarily behind it. It has, you know, two main uh, ports to add microphones. Um, easy way to add a memory card to it. Uh, it works on a battery, or two batteries actually. And, you know, it just records in what's called 32-bit uh, sound. So from my understanding, my research is you're able to have more of um, dynamic range in the sound quality. Uh, so it allows you to record very kind of loud sounds and then also very low sounds. And so there's actually not a way to, in this recorder, to uh, change the levels. You know, in a typical recorder, you have a way to monitor the levels in terms of, you know, how uh, loud the mic is picking up the sound. But in this uh, Zoom F3, it just records just as is. So I would definitely recommend this recorder. Uh, like I said, it's very intuitive, very simple to use. Um, I'm liking it so far. I'm, I'm definitely learning, um, you know, how to get better sound in my videos. So this uh, recorder, I think, just makes it very easy. That way, you know, you, you're not going to have to really worry about peaking. Uh, you know, you obviously have to ensure you get the best uh, sound quality uh, in terms of where the mic is set, you know, on the subject, uh, and also the mic that you're using, and you obviously the environment as well. Uh, but this recorder just makes that uh, what was, I think, in the past, for me at least, a lot of a headache, just monitoring sound. So this thing makes it a lot simpler and really, I guess I would say, probably reduces the amount of mistakes you're going to make in terms of, um, you know, have to monitor the levels. So if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.